and I welcome you back to the Dabrinic channel and tonight we're talking about Lake Shasta, Folsom and a few others as well and there's plenty to talk about. There has been an awful lot of dry weather in California so we're going to touch base with that and see what the snowpack is. We're going to roll right over to windy.com like we always do and here we are at windy.com and here's your next three days. You can see that the whole United States is fairly dry for the most part other than a little bit in West Virginia and a little bit in Colorado as well. So that is what's going on the next three days. We go to the next five days and you could see the northwest up here in Seattle is getting a lot of rain precipitation. We go the next 10 days. As you can see a big swath through the, the middle of the country, a little bit in the Colorados and this is 0.47 in the next 10 days. That is Saturday, February 5th. That is 10 days from today. And this is not showing a whole lot of precipitation. We go to the GFS and you can see similar results. They are showing a little bit more precipitation in California, especially by Oroville. We are over by Lake Oroville now, and you can see 0.38 is what they're calling for. Yuba City down here, 0.43. South Lake Tahoe here, 0.8. Sacramento, 0.37. We go down to Bakersfield down here. You're going to get a little precipitation down there, 0.2. Go down to Los Angeles, 0.8. San Diego is going to get a little bit of rain as well, 0.21. And that's what they're calling for in the next 10 days we go back to the european and it's not calling for any precipitation whatsoever so we'll see who wins out even the little bit is still very little to begin with so as we go over to the snowfall you can see that in the colorado 6.7 inches there aspen's going to get 4.3 grand junction's actually going to get almost two inches 1.8 steamboat springs up here around 3.7 and Vail down here 3.4 you can see there's a dry spot right in the middle of the green river here i want to go over to snow depth and see what is going on as we roll over to the snow depth you can see that over in Bell 38, Aspen 38, Steamboat Springs 38, 46 over here. Down by Grand Junction, they got 7.5. Up here by Jackson, they got 37. Over here by Pendel, they have 18 inches. Not too bad. Montrose down here, 10.2. We scoot down a little bit further. And just to the west of Vegas, 9.5 in the mountains there. And then over here as well, just to the southwest of Page, 17.5. Five, Tuba City, you got zero. And that is your snowpack there. We're going to go over to the Sierra and see what is going on out there. And 36 in the Sierra. Truckee up here, 29. And all the way through here, about 39 inches. You can see that it continues to be depleted. 42 inches there. Carson City, 7.4. Reno, Nevada, 7.3. We go over by Caribou, 25 inches. Chester up here. 28 inches we scoot down a little bit closer we go over to east quincy and east quincy has 32 inches sterling city down here 7.6 we go down to deadwood and you can see 0.4 brush creek 3.4 berry creek 0.3 big bend over here 0.4 you get the gist pineapple has none oroville has none and that is what's going on we go up to mount shasta up here mount shasta 20.2 over over here 34 down here 36 you can see that weed over here 18.7 so you got a good swath here i want to go to what the snow pack is currently here we are at california data exchange center in the snow equivalent and you can see northern sierra 60 percent what it would be in april and 103 percent and if you recall i think that was a lot higher i think it was close to 133 percent a while back so that continues to fall as things are warming up 58 percent in the central sierra 101 is so it's rarely above average 55 percent for southern this is for april 1st average 103 so it's barely above as well so that is what's going on this sierra snowpack I want to go to tropical tidbits and I want to show you that they are expecting more precipitation in the next 384 hours. So right now, Wendy takes us out 10 days, which is February 5th. But tropical tidbits, on the other hand, it's showing something completely different. Let me show you what I'm talking about. 
This is taking us out through February 11th, and you can see right through here that you got a little swap of anywhere between a foot to 10 more inches, and over here as well in the Sierra, you have quite a bit there. So there's more snow possibly coming. It keeps saying this, but every day I look at windy.com and it's just not showing much of anything. So we'll see if this model comes to pass. This is a long way out. You can see over here in Colorado that they're getting quite a bit. 7 and 7 and 11 and 14 more inches on top of the 40 they got. That's fantastic up here by where the Green River starts. You're getting a good swap as well. So we'll see if this comes to pass. They're only calling for a moderate 3 around Oroville. So we'll see what ends up showing up. So let's go over and check the water levels at Folsom Lake. And we're at Folsom Lake, and you can see that Folsom Lake water level is 420.76 feet MSL. And the thing is at 55%, it was at 60 when all this started, so it continues to fall. They're currently letting out 3,152, and the inflows are 2,339. So they have slowed it down. It was over 5,000 a couple weeks ago, and now it's down to 3,152. So maybe they're actually using in their head instead of just letting water out just to be letting it out i want to check the outflows at orville as well and 580 out so they're being really smart about it the lake is up 46 percent we'll talk about the water level in a little bit 3892 in so the thing continues to increase at shasta the Lake is 35% full, so it continues to increase. The outflows are 2,800. The inflows are 4,833, so it continues to be a positive. So we'll take that, and let's roll over to Oroville and see where the water level stands currently. Lake Oroville water level. The water level for Lake Oroville is 743.71 feet MSL Wednesday, January 26, 2022 at 12 p.m. The level is 156 0.29 feet below full pool of 900 and we continue to inch closer and closer to that 750 mark maybe by a couple more weeks we'll be there and the changes since yesterday's 0.58 feet and that is what's going on at lake oroville let's roll over to lake shasta and see what's going on up there Lake Shasta water levels currently 932.60 feet MSL. Wednesday, January 26, 2022 at 11 a.m. It was taken. The level is 134.40 feet below full pool of 1,067. Changes since yesterday, 0 0.24 feet. So it continues to increase. And we are going to go to Lake Powell and see what those water levels currently are. And once again, Lake Powell just continues to fall further and further. Lake Powell water level is currently 3,533.59 feet MSL. Thursday, January 20th, 2022, 12 a.m. The level is 166.41 feet below full pool of 3,700. And you can see this thing just dropping down another 0.21 feet. So there you have it. We'll roll down to Lake Mead and see what's going on down at Lake Mead. Lake Mead water level is currently 1,067.27 feet MSL. Wednesday, January 26, 2022 at 1 p.m. The level is 161.73 feet below full pool of 1,229. And changes since yesterday, 0.5. So it is dropping over the last 24 hours. Let's roll down to Lake Havasu and see what's going on down at Lake Havasu. Lake Havasu water level. The water level for Lake Havasu is currently 447.31 feet MSL. Wednesday, January 26, 2022 at 1.30 p.m. The level is 2.31 feet above full pool of 445. And the thing has increased 0.3. And that is all I have for today. Thank you. Much appreciated. I hope everybody Everybody's staying safe and well, and I stay busy. I have a million things I do. I try to get to this as much as possible. Thanks for everybody for sticking with me through thick and thin, and we will see you on the next one. God bless.